Please stay up. That's appropriate for this video. <laughs> Hello! Hi. We're back! Did you miss us? Of it's, course they did. It's been a while. <laughs> Welcome back to Talking Too Fast, everyone. We are your hosts, Ryan Bamey. And Brittany Chapman. And we are starting a new sort of sub-series for our Talking Too Fast segment. So our sub-series is going to be called The Dating Game. For today's segment on dating games, we will be talking about our best and worst date experiences. I hope I'm not Facebook friends with any of you. <laughs> so I think we're probably one of the best dates I've ever been on has been like, um, I went to a dance with this guy and beforehand we went to dinner and we were able to talk to each other and he was super awesome. First dates are always a little bit like, a little awkward and it was kind of, it was our first date together. So, but he like totally just like, it was really easy just like get out of my bubble and like be silly and goofy with him and have a really great time. There was like this little, we went up these stairs and we got to like look up at the stars. And yep. But that was a really great date because we ended up talking even more and it was just like we had this really great connection. I try to just go off of how memorable it is. And there was a storm, there was a thunderstorm and we d spontaneously decided um, to chase the thunderstorm and he was a you know a crazy driver but one of those crazy drivers where I feel very secure when they're driving because they know exactly what they're doing you know operating that stick shift like it's nobody's business <laughs> you know, talk about a talk about a turn on and we decided to chase this thunderstorm and there's actually lightning and everything like and it was actually moving and we were actually chasing it. We finally got to the point where we feel like the storm settled and then it started to rain a little bit, but we, it led us to a park. And um, we got out at the park and it, he had a, he had like sleeping bag material in his trunk and a big umbrella. We ended up just camping out on the lawn in this park where the storm had sort of settled and there was a little rain drizzle, not Aww. downpour. And so it was so spontaneous and but it was memorable. I'd say that's probably one of the better dates I've been on. Worst, Worst dates. Worst dates. Worst dates. Um, okay, so this guy had asked me on a date. <clears throat> he asked me to go out to dinner beforehand, so um, we went to this restaurant. We were sitting there and I was trying to have a conversation with this person, but this person just kept staring at me. Like, just staring and staring. And it was like, like he wanted something from me. And I'm like, dude, I barely know you. And Give I'm just wallet. trying to talk to you. <laughs> you I know. Do you plan on murdering because me later like, tonight? Can I'm I just trying, know? because his stare was like, I'm Ripper? trying to be seductive, but I don't really know how. And instead I'm just looking like really awkward. Like Kinda I'm about to cry or something. But... I'm like, <laughs> it, was like twitching. it was really awkward. It was so <laughs> weird. That's how There's something weird. wrong with your face. Um, anyway, so we're sitting there at dinner and I am trying to talk and talk and anything I say is like, he's giving me these super short answers and I'm like, I am running out of things to ask you. And we had been sitting there for an hour and a half and he had told me that we were gonna go to a movie afterwards. I said, okay, so I'm talking to him and I'm like, okay, so when is our movie gonna start? And he's like, like eight o'clock. And we had been at a restaurant since five. Since five. So what would you like to do before then? Cause like, like I said, we've been at this restaurant for an hour and a half and I was dying. <laughs> we start walking and we go to every single sh like store in the strip mall. That lasted all of 30 minutes. Can you even believe it? <laughs> and I don't know what came over me, but I was so desperate and I was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Either we can wait for an hour for this movie to start or we can go back to my house and we can watch a movie there. Why uh -oh. did I Why do that? Why did you do that? Anyways, yeah. so anyway, I get back to my house and I give him movies to choose from. Of course, sure he did. chooses the last, like the, the longest movie <laughs> of all of them. I left to go like bathroom or something and I come back and on the couch, he has made like this little nest for us of pillows. And he's like, has his arm on the back of the couch, like, oh yeah, come kind of look to me. And I'm like, what is, what the freak is happening? I don't know how I feel about this. Sounds wanky. I'm feeling a little desperate because I'm allowing this to happen. <laughs> Get this, my dad was sitting at the kitchen table looking right into the room where I was. It was so awkward. 
we finished the movie and I was so grateful and then he just wanted to sit there like he wouldn't say anything he just sat there like being close to me and I'm like so um do you want to go like we're gonna go home or whatever horrible date <laughs> yeah <laughs> horrible date anyways you go That's it was one of those situations to where the guy was constantly talking about himself and Granted, I'm very inquisitive by yeah. nature. I like to get to know people, but it's also nice that they like to get to know me <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. It's for me. It's it's a red it's a red flag when I walk away from that date and I'm thinking, how much do they know about me? <laughs> do they know True. my name? Oh, it's never a good sign when you're check when checking your your watch yeah, you check or checking your time. your time. And for me, I was sitting there, and it had been I gave the date a good couple hours. I remember I feel like for a good thirty minutes, I was thinking, where the hell is our waiter? Because I really want to say like I think we're ready. Yeah. And it took forever for the server. And I kept seeing our server going in and around places, but not coming to check on us. So I'm like looking for the waiter while 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 like um l looking at the guy, be like yeah yeah oh. Oh my god, so interesting. I mean, sorry, that was sad. Wait, am I supposed to be happy right now? <laughs> like, what? It wasn't a bad yeah. date. It was just, yeah. it was a dud date. And uh, well, when you meet someone on a date, you know, it's nice to get to know them. And I feel like it needs to be a two-way street. Yeah. Like, it, it, you know, pe I know people like to talk about themselves and I like to ask people about themselves, yeah. but that doesn't give you right to hold the mic for the entire date. Like, I just like being able to communicate with a person. That to me is like as long as they the can biggest talk thing. Back. Exactly, that's the biggest thing. If we can't, <laughs> if I can't communicate uh, with you, then this is a obvious. Like, this is happen. a no go, and no. I I need to be able to know that. Then that you can just happen. use them physically, you know. I have never done that. Oh, okay. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> and I also think it's really fun on dates to go and experience something completely new with that person for both of you. Yes, I love that. I think it's so mm -hmm. cool because then you like you connect immediately on it yeah. because like you are creating that memory with someone and you've never experienced it before. Mm -hmm. So like you like are excited because it's something totally new and I yeah. think that is super fun. I would say the concept of one of the best dates I could think of is a date that doesn't start out as a date and turns into a date. Like you don't even know going into it that what you're on is like a date. Mm -hmm. I actually judge the level or the success level of a day based on how long we're able to just talk. Yeah, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Like Absolutely. if I'm able to walk away being like, wow, we were sitting there or walking and talking um, without any funny business for like three hours. That that's says something, something mm -hmm. to me. It's like, Absolutely. that's good. That's good. That means that I can stand talking to this person actually. <laughs> and I don't think good dates are defined by the level of money that you spend, by the star level of a restaurant that you go to. Um, it, it's all about the interaction, the, the, the conversation, and the chemistry, and the memor the, the, how memorable it is. If without those bad experiences, we wouldn't have really fun stories like this to it's tell. It's so you know? true. Mm -hmm. And through all the bad stuff, you get to figure out what it is that you absolutely do want in Yes. Life. So oh, yes. it is important to have what not really, to do, or yeah. what to look out for. Absolutely. Many stories, but you know what? That's what makes life fun, right? <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Talking Too Fast. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>